I actually grew up in southern Indiana, uh, grew up on a farm. Uh, I grew up in the 50s when I, I, sort of, I, get, I sort of experienced what it was to grow up in a free country. Um, as I became a little bit older, I became concerned about what our government was doing to us. And as a result, <clears throat> uh, that's you, you know the main reason that I'm in the Convention of States. However, <clears throat> I uh, spent about 20 years of my working career in Kentucky, and the last 30 years has been in the state of Tennessee. I've always been in business for myself. I'm basically an entrepreneur. Uh, sold the last business I had about 10 years ago, and I am semi-retired. I got involved because I'm afraid we're going to lose our country. Absolutely. I have grandchildren and great-grandchildren, and I, I don't want to see them grow up in an America that's not free anymore. A couple of years ago, I read a book by Mark Levin, and that book told about Article 5 of the Constitution and how we might bring the power back to the states. Little did I know that I would be involved in the Convention of States project. But along that process, I met Norman Bobo and found out that we could volunteer to help out. And volunteering to me means spreading the word about the Convention of States project and what it's all about. Go to conventionofstates.com, press the button, sign the petition. More importantly, get 10 of your friends to do the same. When you sign the petition, then that sends a letter to your state legislator. You go on the list in their district as a supporter. We deliver those lists to the state legislators. It means something to them.